guys, welcome back to Harry Makes It Up. You may notice there's another human next to me. <laughs> Literally next to you. Next so to me. Close to you. <laughs> for uh, what's it called? Purposes. Uh, focusing purposes. We will be sat very near to each other. Hopefully that won't be an issue. And because we're in love. And because, yeah, that too. <laughs> if you don't know who Lindsay is, where have you been? She is my podcasting partner extraordinaire. I like to think of myself as Harriet Hadfield Esquire, Difficult Eyes. And this is Lindsay, Sexy Robot. Yep. So if you do follow our podcast, which is full coverage, which obviously will be linked in the description bar, um, you will already know who Lindsay is. If not, this is her. This is me, my actual <laughs> me, my actual face. And I did say to you guys last time I filmed that I was thinking of doing a highlighter kind of favorite video and I felt like it would be wrong not to include you in this. <laughs> like to me, the two yeah. words, Lindsay and highlighter are one. It is my field of expertise, if it, you it will. It really is. Um, like, I thought we would do our top six. I mean, yes. God, this could have been like top 35 if we weren't <laughs> careful. There was a yeah. lot of highlighters on the table before this. So this is an edit of current favorites. Yes, the things we're using right now. Not literally right now. I couldn't get them all on my face. No. I tried. We're on our arm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I will do a blog post as well of anything that's not mentioned because like I said it's fair to say this yeah. this was really hard work and people always say that but between us we were going backwards and forwards backwards and forwards of what would actually make the cut for this video so anything that hasn't made the cut highlighter wise I'm going to do a separate blog post which I'll also link below as well to go live with this video um there's a lot to talk about Lindsay there's some there's some you go first because you're my guest so okay. Lindsay's going to start us off I'm going to start with what I'm using right this right this now second and mm. what I use the most often in an everyday uh, scenario, if that makes sense. <laughs> I'm a writer. Uh, I just don't understand words. So these are my two favourite highlighters. They are from Hourglass Cosmetics. Uh, so the first on one is the Incandescent Strobe Powder. Now this launched a couple of years ago. Yeah. Uh, and I love Hourglass. I love their powders. I think they do them beautifully. I don't know an Hourglass product that I have in my collection that I don't love, that I think is beautifully made. Yeah. These are, for my money, the most foolproof powder highlighters on the market. Yeah. I think they are, they're so gorgeously finely milled. There are multiple shades, so there's something for every skin tone. You can go very, very lightly with it and get a very pretty wash. You can use it on Cupid's bow and on your nose, on your cheekbones, any way you would like to use it. And then you can also go crazy sexy robot. Yeah. with it you can build it up really easily it doesn't um, show the texture of your skin it doesn't emphasize <laughs> any pores or anything it just works beautifully if you use a very light hand you can even use it as a setting powder under eyes oh, I find okay. interesting like a secret yeah. brightening powder or yes like yeah yeah powder. this one for sure this is the incandescent which is sort of a peachy yeah. shade nice. um, it's very very pretty very easy to wear if I want to amp it up I'm making these one instead of two because I'm cheating <laughs> she's cheating already I'm cheating she's been in five already. minutes if I get it in straight away <laughs> she might not notice but they're both from Hourglass, so, and I use them together. <sighs> uh, so this is their newest uh, highlighter launch, which is the uh, the Vanish Flash Stick highlighter. I use the rose gold. Okay. Um, I've got. I might have all of them, but I use the rose gold more often. <laughs> Uh, if you are into these, if you like a cream highlighter, again, it's very similar. This is sort of a similar shade to the incandescent powder, oh, which is why nice. I think it works well together. I'll do this slick on the cheekbones, blend it a tiny bit and then set yeah. it with a powder and then like <laughs> all day. <laughs> Stunning. Um, but you can go easy with it and you can yeah. mix it into foundation. Uh, what I would say if you like the idea of the creams, definitely check out the colours. Mm. Don't just buy it online and think, oh, that colour will work for me because I thought the champagne would be really good for That's me. That's the one I've got, yeah. It's very, very warm. Yeah, it's and more I thought, yellowy. Yeah, I thought the rose gold would be warmer, but it's actually much cooler. Yeah. So do check out the colours if you're able to, but these are my fail safe, always Holy really grail. my top choice. HG. What is HG? Oh, say. HG is very grail. You just oh, said it. I'm not a writer, but I should have known that. <laughs> These are my faves. These are my favourite oh, favourites. So that's why they're going first. What you got? Okay, I'm going to start with... I feel like, do I get the ones that I think you guys are going to guess out the way or do I throw you with a little curveball? I say curveball me. Okay, curveball. One I think that I have definitely talked about on the blog, but I probably haven't, and I've definitely used it in a video somewhere, um, is one that I always go back to. Is this teeny tiny fellow from Ilya. This is Polka Dots and Moonbeams. And of all my highlighters, I would say this one is the nearest to like a Becca Pearl, that kind of like 
whitey, not yeah. not white shade, but it, it has that kind of gleam where I would say it's very neutral. It's not, yeah. it almost looks icy white on the back of your hand, but when you blend it in, I feel like it's near to a glow with the tiny, tiniest bit of pearl in. So there is a little pearl in here. I don't think it's gonna shock anyone that most of my highlighting favorites of the moment are all creams. That's just what I'm really into at the minute. Um, but yeah, this one, I'm pretty sure you can buy Ily at like Detox Market. You can get it in Anthropology, I yes, believe. I believe so. Um, they have quite a lot of the Ilia products. And I just really like that. It's one of those ones I didn't know I needed until I had it. And now you do. And now my life is complete. It's Go not on, complete, because I'm about to complete your life. <laughs> All right, top trumps me. <laughs> I'm about to do something very special. So you get, this might look like a highlighter. It also looks like something else. <laughs> Harry with this highlighter. <laughs> I do! <laughs> Will you highlight wed? Uh, this is the uh, Too Faced Diamond Light Multi, oh this takes a minute, Multi-Use <laughs> Diamond Fire Highlighter. Diamonds and fire and highlighter all It's in like one unicorns are gonna package. jump out the box well, and now just you've do it, that a big rainbow happen. sick everywhere. Did I go too far? <laughs> no, no, you went just far enough. Uh, and then take a Sinania oh, and yeah. then you like roll this around in like... the snow. So this is, it's ridiculous, but it's also amazing. This for me is just the right side of awesome kitsch packaging. Uh, it's a bit elaborate and a bit silly, but it's gorgeous. Um, it I really didn't know what to think when I saw it, but I bought it because I'm a monster. You open it up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it looks like, to me, it looks more like an opal than a diamond, but yeah, I'm not it a baby, actually. so like that's just so me. <laughs> uh, it's absolutely stunning. It's Beautiful. a baked formula. It, looks like it's going to be super intense and if you go heavy it is but mm. it's also it's kind of not dissimilar to the texture of the hourglass yeah you can go quite sheer with it and keep it relatively natural the issue is that it's very iridescent <laughs> ain't nothing natural about that <laughs> uh but it's absolutely gorgeous this is a night out highlighter for me i just out out it's out out it is out out okay and also like that, that's just, like, really fun. Like that's got to make you feel happy every time you use it. Makes me so happy. Um, next, I'm gonna go for one that I know I have talked about loads on the channel, and it's actually meant as an eye tint, a lid tint. Um, it's Julian Dempsey Lid Tint in Dew, and this is a highlighter I go back to time and time again when I just want the skin to look a little bit wet and have a gleam but there is no shimmer in this at all no pigment nothing it is literally just a kind of wet looking glow obviously it's gorgeous on eyelids too and i do use it loads for that um and i just oh, i love it if you've got like an eyeshadow like even i've got on today mm -hmm. let's just top it up i'm gonna do a little here we go you know you can kind of put it over eyeshadow and just give the eyeshadow a bit more of a wet look really Ooh. nicely without it kind of moving it about too much i mean obviously it is a cream so it is gonna move slightly but I like that. I feel like don't fight it. You've got to let it let it do what it's got to do. Um, and then on skin, you know, you can just amp up the skin texture really, really I like nicely. It. So I find like if you have a foundation that's quite matte and you just want to kind of add something back in without changing the color, adding any texture to the skin in terms of pigments or kind of shimmers, this is just a really nice one just to pat on top very, very easily. Um, and, and it's so tiny, but I feel like it's one of those products that packs a punch and yeah. I wouldn't be out it without it in my pro kit actually. So um, I love that. I like it. Second one that is, I've gone through hit pan. Oh my, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, so, legit. Uh, so I, I have a bad reputation as a highlight fiend for wanting to be a sexy robot. Created so that. we talked about these, the Cover FX Custom, color, custom Enhancer, I was gonna say Custom Color, that's a different product. The Custom <laughs> Enhancer drops from Cover FX. Uh, we talked about these very, very early on in full coverage, and it was actually this shade, which is Halo, mm. uh, and then this is Celestial, which is my favorite. Yeah. So I had to say both, because I'm a monster. <laughs> See what's happening here, there's a bit of a pattern. I was like, come on and talk about six. She's like, yes. AKA I'm wearing 12. Yeah. Um, so we were talking about this, yeah, and I yeah. that's where I said I wanted my highlighter to make me look like a sexy robot, and strangely enough, it's stuck. These are gorgeous. <laughs> so they are a liquid highlight, um, and you've got a, it's steady as she goes, lads, uh, because <laughs> they there's are. There's no messing about. There's here, no is messing there? about. You could, they're very versatile in yeah. a sense. You can mix them with foundation to get a, a very pretty glow, especially the celestial shade. Yes, Halo is really good. Halo is um, like blue. Yeah. And you will look like a sexy <laughs> robot, like a really hot robot. Uh, celestial is more of this sort of champagne y gold. Uh, and you can blend it out into a very pretty natural mm. finish, or you can not blend it out 
and have it look for like uh, your part Tifa. I feel like really, when I think about it, we're each other's yin to the yang of the, and the highlighter world, aren't we? Yeah, you keep me grounded. I think, I think- While well, I'm reaching for the stuff. Well, and every now and then, like I will go for a full on highlighter and she'll be like, who are you? What are you doing? And then Hello. you'll be like, I found a sexy sweaty sheen one. I know. So I the roles so do well. reverse, but generally I think we fall into the category of you want sexy robot. Yeah. And I want sexy, sweaty editorial sheen. I don't want to be sweaty ever. But we that both would be exercise. We we both respect each we other's do. highlight needs, that's and I think that's important in a friendship. The world needs that. I mean, the world <laughs> the world could learn a lot from us, Harriet. They could. There's no that's such thing I as right think. or wrong when it comes to highlighters. No. Apart from the tip of the nose, that's my only peeve. Why? Why do you I want just to highlight like that? I spent I don't the get entire it. 90s trying to mattify my nose so badly <laughs> that now the idea of having to make it shiny um, it morally offends me. And it's warm right now as we're filming, so I'm already sweaty. Hence yeah. me keep doing the little moustache Sula I'm, upper lip. I'm Urban Decay setting sprayed to death. So my hair's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So eventually there'll be <laughs> no Lindsay. Like... It'll just like overtake your head. Um, on that um, note, what let's go for another one. one. So got? one again. I feel like you will have seen a lot recently, and it, I just can't fault it. It's Glossier Halo Scope. I know this has done the rounds in social media. It's the one that I currently use most in my pro kit. I would say for red carpet, um, mm -hmm. topaz and quartz in particular are the two that I use most. And I love this on the inner corner of the eye. Ooh. I feel like whenever I do an eye look and I've kind of done the highlighter as well, if I feel like something looks a bit too flat or one dimensional, this is always what I kind of take in the inner corner. And I sometimes run it a little bit um, just along the kind of inner tear duct on the bottom, just like on top of that lower lash line. Not all the way under, so it's not gonna mix with your mascara or anything like that, as long as you've got a mascara that sets. But I just love this. I love the oil core. I think that gives it a really nice yeah. slip on the skin. Um, and again, for me, this is the right side of a very finely milled pearl as opposed to kind of shimmer. Um, very, very pretty. And again, because it's that kind of stick form, I end up using it on collarbones. Mm -hmm. I find it really, really versatile. And um, yeah, that's the one that I wear, I have my own makeup bag as well at the minute. And that's my kind of go-to. Yeah. Um, I have got, uh, stole the show from Colourplop. Colourplop? Colourplop. <laughs> Sorry, uh, from Colourpop, uh, colourpopcosmetics.com, um, check them out, Sorry. Uh, I saw the show from Colourpop, it's the Super Shock Cheek Formula, I, I honestly, I've got so, so many good. of these, yeah, I think I they're know. eight bucks now, they're Six super eight affordable, oh, yeah, they're so, so affordable, the formula is incredible, this isn't even really, I was like, oh, that one's incredible, it's just, I've got, I've got so many of these, yeah, yeah. Because they are so affordable, you yeah. can afford to just grab one and play. Uh, this was just the one that I picked up this morning that I was using recently. It's sort of a white gold. Mm, um, it's nice. very, very pretty. It's very intense. Yeah. Um, but you can. I find you I've can even, shade I them out. I find you can even use these with fingers, which I quite like. I yeah, feel I like do. they move like a I cream. I do. I mean, I mostly use it with fingers. Yeah. I very, very rarely use these with um, a brush. Yeah. Uh, I, and you've got to remember to tighten the lid. Yeah. Always tighten the lid, or it'll dry out, and then it won't work for you. Um, so the next one I'm going to go for is, I'll, I'll go for one we both love as well actually, yes. that I know we were both arguing over who was going to show it. Um, it is Ciate Dewy Sticks. Um, this one I feel is kind of similar to my Gillian Dempsey one actually in like a stick. I feel like there's ever so slightly a bit of colour, like ever like maybe so a breath, slightly a whisper. a whisper of like pearl sheen. But it, there's not really a pearl in it which yeah. is very clever so it, yeah it's hard to explain, I'll, you'll see in the cutaway but I do love this, again, for me, sticks are such a great thing for kind of topping up your makeup. Yeah. Again, this is lovely on the inner eye or as a wash of kind of gloss on the eye as well. Really, really like this. I think for me, this was one of the first things that Ciate did that got me really into the brown. Yeah. This was like my entry level into Ciate and kind of checking out all their other things. Uh, your turn, Got another one, got another one. one. Um, so, so this is a brand that's available in the States in Sephora. So anywhere Sephora ships, you can get it. <laughs> uh, as far as I know, it is only in Sephora. I think okay. they have their own website as well. But it's a brand called Pretty Vulgar. Mm. It's not my favourite name of a brand. We talked about time. this. We on talked the about that. We have talked time. about this. Uh, it's called Shimmering Swan, and the shade is Glimmers of BS, which I do quite <laughs> enjoy. It's like that. That's me. Uh, <laughs> the packaging is very ornate and sort of. Not into it. Not into it. <laughs> what I am into is the juice inside. It's the juice. It's all about the juice. It is stunning. Lovely. It's like opaly on it, isn't like, it? Yeah. yeah. It's um, again. It's not a million miles away from the shade of the um, mm. hourglass that I love. There's definitely a trend in the shades that I choose more yeah. often. But this is a much more intense blinding powder. 
Uh, it's very, very soft. It's very, it will go a long way. Yeah. You definitely need a brush for this one. If you want to get anything even attempting really? to be near subtlety, you need a fan brush. Uh, right. If you use any brush with any sort of density in the bristles, you're getting like, yeah. uh, but I <laughs> love this. I think it's such an underrated brand and an underrated mm. product. Uh, I would love to see it get more love. And I think they did just bring out some new shades. Oh, okay, Which nice. I'm very excited about, because they did launch about a year ago, and I think they've just extended the range. So I'm gonna be all up in that. And everything so will be linked below, it. guys, as well. Anything that Lindsay mentions and I mention, we'll put it all in the description yeah. box below, so you can find it with ease. Um, I can't remember if I have shown this in the video or not, but I've definitely blogged about it. Um, this is from an indie brand called Pinch of Colour um, that me and Lindsay, we found these from going to the Indie Beauty Expo show. So again, a really nice place where you can find kind of the newer brands, what they're doing, kind of suss out the less well-known brands, you know, and kind of see the new innovations, new technologies. And this is their Honey Balm Water Lipstick. So it only comes in one shade. And for me, what's special about this is, it is the shade. I mean, the texture falls into the same categories as all the other creams I've mentioned. It's that kind of sweaty, sexy glow. But I feel like if you want to go into the realms of like what you were saying, where you want something warm-ish, but not so warm that like you have like pink tones in your hair, it, you feel like it's gonna kind of clash. This is like the perfect side of, I don't even wanna so say pretty. golden. It's like it's like if someone just did a pipette. A, a, a pet. A, a, Millimetre of a pipette. I just want to say eyelash. pipette. A like flicker a, like of a an flicker eyelash. of like, yeah, I mean it's not, I want to say gold, but it's not. Like when you look at it, what no. colour would you describe it um, as? I would say it's a champagne, but without the, it's not even really Yeah, warm. and there's no shimmer. It, it is like a sort of sweaty, sexy glossiness. Yeah. Again, so on eyelids, really, really nice. And there is, there is the subtlest amount of something I want to say golden, but I don't want to say golden because yeah. it, it isn't, it, again, it's more in that realms of like ethereal goodness. Yeah, it's like your skin, but better. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. really, really lovely. And I feel like I haven't found this particular shade in this form um, yeah. without it having lot. I think for me, it's the fact that there's not really much shimmer in it still. It feels very, very like that nice glow as opposed yeah. to a shimmer. So really love that. Um, as far as I know, they are just online and I have a feeling these may have gone into anthropology now. I believe so, yes. So yes, again, I'll, I'll link where you can find them down below, but it's a really, really beautiful highlighter and especially if you're into checking out kind of more indie beauty brands or less. <laughs> I made it worse. <laughs> I made it work. I threw it at her. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> I'll just do this. Da, da, da. Uh, yeah, that's really good. <laughs> no, it takes so long to record every episode of the podcast. Oh, God, you can imagine. And this time we're being filmed, so it's. Imagine Nightmare. what happens when we're not on camera. Nightmare. I've got one more. So She's it's, got a palette. This is when you know there's a real beauty junkie fine. when they don't need a palette, but they put things in palettes. It's a seed palette. Well, I've been quite busy lately, so I've been procrastinating like <laughs> a professional. Uh, these are in a palette that's got my hair on it, uh, but these are amazing. the Wet n Wild Powder Highlighters. And we both and love these. These are amazing. Yeah, they are so Good. Yeah. The first one I tried it was this one, which me is, too. That's on yeah. Oh my god, I've got that something. one. I think. Well, these two came out together. Oh. Um, this, these two sort of goldish tone ones. Um, so pretty. Because I remember, so we hadn't known each other very long. We went no. to an event, and you were wearing the Estee Lauder, uh, Estee Lauder Victoria Beckham Modern Mercury oh, yeah, highlighter, yeah, yeah. and I was like, "What's on your face? I want it on my <laughs> face." And then you told me, and I was like, "Oh, that's too warm for me. It makes me sad." because I, I have got it, but it's way too warm for my skin. And then these two launched from uh, Wet n Wild, and I thought, oh, this really looks like yeah. Modern Mercury to me. And then this one is the slightly cooler toned sister. That's perfect for you. So this is, I use this all the time. Yeah. Um, and obviously they're Wet n Wild, they're cheapest chips. They're, so affordable. What, five, six dollars, and they're always so on good. two for one somewhere, or buy yeah. one, get one half. Uh, and I've just been steadily adding to the collection. So I think this is my last one. My last one is, um, I couldn't find the individual pot of this. It does come in an individual, blah, 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 an individual pot. Um, this is Make Beauty. It is their uh, Custom Effects Matte Dew. So this is a palette that has two different products in, but the product I am focusing on is Dew. So this is, um, they, they have called Dew Pots, and this one is just called Dew, and again, Nothing's gonna surprise you guys. I feel like we're very true to what we like. So this for me, I would say is similar to 
in texture to a lot of the other ones. It's a creamy, kind of glowy product, but this one does actually have the tiniest amount of shimmer in, like little flecks. Yeah. Um, and I feel like if anyone was interested in getting the Violet FR for Estee Lauder, I can't remember what she called it, but the little kind of gilet pot she made, um, it's very, very similar to this. So if you can't get your hands on that and that has sold out, this I would say is kind of your next best thing. Um, it looks slightly pinky in the pan. I don't really feel like there's a color in it. It's definitely more translucent, but with the slightest amount of like little flecks of sheen in. Again, very discreet, very flattering, very grown up looking. Um, and you can get that in an individual pot as well, just on its own. But that was in my kit in the car and I was being lazy. Nice. Not gonna lie. Yeah. That is it, but I have just realised that we talked about one that we couldn't agree on who was gonna talk about it, oh. uh, and then I forgot to put it in mine because <laughs> I've got millions, so maybe that should be our joint highlight. Oh. Highlight. Because if you don't know, on the podcast, we have a highlight of the week every, every week. episode. And it's so. not always a highlighter. It is for me. Yes, don't worry. Um, <laughs> it's what our favourite product <laughs> is of the week, and I feel like this is our favourite highlight um, joint. Oh, I, I can't remember what it is it now, isn't that awful? Exactly. I'm like, I can't remember what it because is. Because I brought this entire bag. Oh full of highlighters so I'm gonna have to pull it out <laughs> and it is yes how could I forget yeah, it's the RMS living luminizer it's so good so I've got the quad here yeah um which has luminizer luminizer new champagne fizz and champagne rose which is it. a great palette if you're like a highlighter gorgeous addictor addictor have an addiction if you have an addiction I like <laughs> addict yeah. Um, like myself, so this was a real bargain for me because I travel with it and I love it and I take it everywhere. Definitely cruelty free. Cool free. Um, if you're into kind of organic, natural based yeah. beauty, you're going to really like this. And I will say, as a makeup artist, it's one that you really can use even on red carpet. And you, you know, again, you can dial it up, dial it down. Yeah. It's very, very flexible. And I find what's so great for me about this is that you can use it on top of powder and it doesn't really disrupt any kind of powder work you've done. So if you have set the face, you, you want to add a bit of glow back in, you I can do, go over with this. That. With fingers though, that's what I will say. I think, I think it's a, it. I think it's a finger product. Yes. Oh yeah. yeah. I've never used a brush, Not a brush. on it. But also like the texture is so lovely. I don't, so I like pretty. using it with fingers. I yeah. like it melts into the skin. Yeah. It feels pretty. It doesn't ever feel heavy. Um, it's been lovely having you. Thank you. It's been lovely to be I had. like having guests. It's really nice. Takes the pressure off. Well, I've put a different kind of pressure on. <laughs> That's person. why we enjoy the podcast, guys. So for those of you that don't know, it is based on professional makeup artist and unprofessional beauty junkie, which I still don't like saying because I it's feel true. like that. But you're like, it's that's true the tagline. Though, like, this is all the highlighters I didn't <laughs> even use and I have no professional claim to needing them whatsoever. So it's true. But yeah, that's why we love you. Thank and you. Um, yeah, we have lots of guests as well on the podcast. We've had Dr. Murad, we've had Caroline Hyren, we've had Sally, we've had Hughes, Sally Hughes, we've had Charlotte Knight. All the good people. All the good people. And we're getting even more. We're getting even, even more. The so list sign is building. Up now. Yeah. Um, well, everything will be linked down below. Thank you so much, Lindsay. Thank you for having for me. For being here. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and we'll do our best to get back to you. And um, I'd love it if you subscribe. And I'll Please see you subscribe. soon for more. Subscribe, subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye.